Hello, Hello creators, creators and welcome, welcome back, back to the science lab. lab. It's Friday, you know what that means. It's time for an explosion. Explosion. An explosion. We are making elephants toothpaste. <laughs> okay, some things you're gonna need are a cup of warm water, a tablespoon, a couple of plastic clear cups so you can see the explosion, mixing bowls, food coloring, hydrogen peroxide, disc detergent, and baker's yeast. It's time for step one. We're gonna take our hydrogen peroxide and pour it in all of our cups. We want about a half cup or halfway full. Hydrogen peroxide can bother your skin and definitely eyes. So we wanna pour this with a parent. Next step is the soap. We're just gonna pour a couple drops in there. Now for the food coloring. You can choose whatever colors you want or you can leave it just as is. We're gonna use the color. What color are you gonna use? Comment below. I do it. What color is that? Green. Green. It's beautiful. We're gonna open the top. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. Mix, mix, mix. We're going a little more. Mixy, mixy, mixy. I do it. Can you tell us below where you see a rainbow? Can you put the blue? Bowl next to the blue liquid? Yes. Where is it? Point to it. Right there. Good job. Can we put the purple next to the purple? It's right there. There you go. Red. Mm -hmm. And find the yes. yellow. Yes, right there. Good right there. job. And green. Find it. It's right there. Right. Good job. Step two. We have some baker's yeast that we are going to mix with warm water. Make sure it's warm. <laughs> At home, if you decide to use one color, you only need one pack of the baker's yeast along with three tablespoons of water. Just enough to get it to react. We're gonna use water. We're gonna need nine of these. You ready? You gotta count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now for the fun part. The explosion. Safety first. Goggles, Goggles on. Water. Remember hydrogen peroxide is an irritant, so we're gonna protect our eyes. We divided ours up into equal bowls to make it a little easier to work with. What we're gonna do now is to pour our yeast solution into the hydrogen peroxide and watch what happens. Three, two, two one. one. Hey Creator Squad, we hope you're enjoying the video. Unfortunately, the audio for the rest of the video was corrupt, so uh, here's an audio reaction to the end instead. Hope you enjoy. As you can see, when we use special strong hydrogen peroxide at 12%, we got a big reaction with very little liquid. But of course, if you wanted to try this at home, it would probably be with 3% hydrogen peroxide. So we just pour about 3 quarters of a cup instead to get a similar reaction. I'm Nay, and Daryl thinks I'm pretty. <laughs> anyway, for an even bigger reaction, we are going to pour all of the colors into a big bowl for a rainbow explosion. Make sure you do this over an area that's easy to clean and keep some towels nearby. I, yeah, yeah, I do it, I do it, I do it, yeah, you do it. <laughs> well, I tried to time our voices and couldn't. Don't forget to hit the like, comment below your favorite part of the video, and subscribe for more content. 
Hey, and we'll see you next time at the Science Lab. Bye-bye.